War Thunder. It's almost fun, they said. Man, what a few weeks of War Thunder we have had. I will admit that the latest round of events has been utterly fantastic, although getting the grind on for the build on has been a bit of an issue, and that's a separate subject altogether. But I don't know about you, but I feel kind of a bit burnt out on the game currently. There's been so much flashy stuff, so much interesting things happen, that it's kind of just a bit of that time where we're now just sort of in that, that waiting period for the next patch. I'm not going to speculate what's coming to the patch. I'm not going to do any of that. We know rank six is, and rank seven is going to be flushed out even more, regardless of what it is, air or ground. That's not what we're here to talk about today. Has anybody asked you why you play War Thunder? That is a good question. I've made countless topic videos and talked about sort of the reasons why we might necessarily play this game. And more importantly, is it necessarily fun? The answer is yes, but I find myself more and more burnt out uh, as of recent. I don't know why, it just... It's been hitting me like a freight train. Mind you, I have to make content of the game, so playing it and then having to record videos for it can be a little bit of a frustration, but as a person who's played the game for eight years, I've seen most of what War Thunder can offer, and I've played what War Thunder can offer. It, what really interests me is the future and longevity of this game long term. You know, we're eight years into this. Will this be around in another two years' time? Will I still be sitting here in this spot complaining, or talking about War Thunder, or explaining why I dislike the game or have a distaste for the game? Probably. But, you know, all negatives aside, this is War Thunder. You know, the positive thing is this game can run on any machine. Granted, it's also been a game that has been functional for eight years, despite all its smaller, intricate issues, which there are more diverse content creators that probably be able to cover it a little bit better. I did ask a month ago, as a part of this, a, a question that, how long do you play for? Or at least, how long do you play War Thunder for? That got 12,000 votes, uh, with 35% of people saying zero to two hours daily, three to four hours uh, daily with 27%, 5% to 6 hours daily, uh, 3% of you said you play War Thunder for 7 hours uh, a, a day, and 30% of you said I only play for a few hours a week, or no time whatsoever. And having a look at the statistics really is a bit interesting. Some of you commented on the fact that, haha, you imagine playing War Thunder? <laughs> Suffer in War Thunder? But when you look at it as a free-to-play game, the amount of players that have been playing the game recently have skyrocketed. And this could be due to the fact that the game is actually in a relatively healthy status within the community. Yeah, sure, it has its issues, but the player base is more stable than it's ever been. It's been a higher population than it has ever been in recent history. I remember the days when there was 100,000 players on back in 2015 and early 2014. That, that was a big deal back then, let alone now. And I think the reason why people keep playing this game is essentially it sucks you in sometimes and sometimes you'll be playing from 20 minutes to 4 hours depending on what you're necessarily trying to do. It's one of those games you can play casually. I don't think there is any other game on the marketplace currently like War Thunder. The arcade simulation that delivers a realistic experience within a reasonable time frame. That being that you don't have to sit around keybinding everything. You don't necessarily have to you know, engage with that. There are key keybinds and controls, and you can get in and play reasonably effort-free as long as you just want to enjoy a decent, somewhat realistic experience. And funnily enough, the all-time peak actually reached this month was basically 63,379 players, according to the Steam charts. And we know for a fact that we had over 140,000. It probably even went up even higher than that. So is the game dying? No. The average player peak, however, is reasonably wavy at best. And the argument that War Thunder is not necessarily fun is quite an interesting one. Let's look at this argument a little bit heavier. Are people doing this because they're frustrated with the game mechanic? Are they doing this because they have or they are suffering in a grind? Or necessarily they can't invest the time to play the game? Could be a whole host of different factors, whether someone has uploaded a video of a particularly broken mechanic and everyone's trying to try that out. Like, for example, when depth charges were a thing, I remember that being. Or if a particular famous content creator is uh, uploaded a video and now Matchmaker is ruined by that particular vehicle that that also creator has had a, a quite a bit of fun in. A lot of people compare this game to having a second job. It's an addiction, according to one user. And while the grind might be that intense, getting to top tier you can easily get done in a day if you really push yourself. Even spending just a weekend to grind down a tech tree is necessarily possible. 
it can be done and it has been done by some of the other the pro esports guys but you know doing the math here it's 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 a wonder because we complain about various issues here is it really the complaining that's the issue is it the community that's really bringing up and nitpicking at issues when the game is perfectly fine it's been operational for eight years sure we've had our rough spots where they've actually tried to introduce paid modifications via the marketplace or they've tried to do something that is against the community's will or something like that but often those changes have been rectified or they have been changed and i don't necessarily think that that's the right answer there for me personally it's suffering no matter how many hours i play but if i go and take a chill out and and go and stream or just hang out with some friends on a custom battle or go and do some low tier action that tends to be a bit of an easier time however that's really where the bulk of the game's content or at least the fun content is if you want a more serious time or more engaged time top tier is a world of fun and it's something that i highly recommend that you at least check out and while i'm incredibly burnt out making videos recently i thought i'd just do this one for a little bit of a change i haven't done a proper talking head video in a while is war thunder fun sometimes it can be but it can be also repetitive and it can be a bit of a grind on the soul occasionally ultimately what is up to your definition of fun is really the end result here there are too many questions and too many answers and too many hypotheses here but with all the game's problems really war thunder it is almost fun and that's about it for today's video right stick around there's gonna be more content coming soon so stay tuned for that hope you enjoyed this one let me know what you think is war thunder fun or is it not why let me know my name is ash i want to catch you in the next one cheerio